Okay, hi there. My name is Jury Mizuno, and this is my final project for CSCI E23A, aka GD50, which is what the instructors prefer to call it. Um, so this is a course in game design. Of course, our final project was to program our own game, and this is the game that I programmed, Kitsune Story Alpha, uh, because it's an alpha version. Um, it is a, the base genre is a platformer, but it has elements of an adventure game and an RPG, and I wanted to combine uh, those things when, when we were going over those topics in class, so uh, that's what I've done here. Um, of course, uh, I have open here the File, file opener to show that I have the state machine and state stack, which were, you know, very ubiquitous, um, important functions or classes that we uh, learned about during the semester. Um, we didn't actually implement the state stack until the, the Pokemon lecture, which was our last uh, 2D lecture. Um, but it makes the state machine much easier to handle, so of course I used it. Um, so closing now, so <laughs> the cast magic state where all the magic happens, literally. I, I have a punny sense of humor. Uh, if you look, if you dig through my code, or even just playing the game, you, you'll notice that. Um, all right, so the, uh, the main feature here that I, I wanted to implement, um, besides that which we learned in class was, um, a skill tree. Now, um, I haven't exactly gotten it to be quite a tree, but I do have um, an entire list of skills that the player can learn, and they have prerequisites, and they will only be learned when the player chooses, so there's custom, there's an aspect of customization there, and um, <clears throat> the uh, Uh, that's it. Sorry, lo lost my train of thought for a sec. Uh, so these files are all related to that. Um, you see that there are conditionals here, and when I get to the actual demo, I will show you uh, how that works in the game. Um, I have a I have booted up already a version of the game uh, running. I've already leveled up some so that uh, I can demonstrate more of the functionality um, because with the RPG elements you have to level the character up in order to um, to use everything. All right, so uh, I'm moving a little slowly here. I wanted to show you all, uh, this is what a hard-coded level looks like. Just a bunch of numbers. And these are all the spawn points for enemies. Um, and these functions uh, fill in the sky, the ground, and um, draw out everything in, in, in this table. Um, in some ways, this is more work than... Um, a random generation, but um, in some ways it's more versatile. So uh, it was a trade-off, and that was the choice that I made. And so without further ado, here is Kitsune Story Alpha. I'll unmute the, the music here, and you can see 
I can barely hear the sounds. I'll turn it up a little bit here. You can see when I when I press spacebar, I open the menu. You can select skill, learn skill, skill info. You see it it shows the level of every skill next to it. And if I click on the skill, it tells me it tells me um, the name of the skill, the element, uh, basically what it does, and the prerequisites. Uh, the character will start with a bunch of spells already known, but some of them require certain things to be leveled up before you can acquire them. This is the strongest spell currently in the game. And as you can see, I have just met the prerequisites, but but if I go into the learn skill menu, I don't currently have any skill points. That means I have to level up first. So I'm going to use some of my stronger spells and fight a boss. Well, the first boss. Hopefully there is enough time for you to read this. I know I'm already going over the five minute mark here. What? That was never explained because this game is an early alpha version? Hmm. Then introduction is in order. So here we go. This is the boss enemy of, of the game. She's actually supposed to transform, but uh, due to time limitations... Oh wow, <laughs> I killed her faster than I expected. Uh, all right, so now I can I can learn Icicle Star, and you see it immediately went up to one, and my current skill points went down to zero. Now I can go here and select. Oh, and I should show you if you notice Aqua Jet and Wind Slice are skill level zero. See, I can't select those. I can only select skills that I know. So here are some of the regular enemies. Um, they're not much, but uh, that's Icicle Storm. And it will absolutely destroy just about anything in its path, especially if you leveled up substantially. Well, actually, I'm at the minimum level in order to acquire the skill, so it's, uh, intentionally pretty overpowered. And just to showcase some other skills, oh, oops, jumped. That's the heal skill. I, I do not know why my mana is not uh, draining. It's supposed to. Seems to be a glitch. I'm going to level up my icicle storm so that each one of those icicles does more more damage. And there's the boss again. So this is going to be a pretty short fight. See what I mean? Well, um, that's it. I know this presentation is already over the, about double the length that it's supposed to be, so I'm signing off now.